Nearly three years ago, Congress passed and the President signed the Dodd-Frank Act. And as I said at the time, this 2,300-page bill embodied everything that was wrong with Washington in the Obama-Pelosi-Reed era. It enshrines Washington bailouts into law. It piles thousands of pages of red tape, and it creates a huge new bureaucracy that has no accountability on how it operates or spends its half-billion-dollar budget. The new bureaucracy, the benignly named Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, actually represents an assault on the fundamental economic liberties of American consumers. The director of this bureaucracy has an extreme level of power that is historically unprecedented and harms consumers by limiting their choices and restricting their access to credit. This director can take away from consumers their freedom to make many financial decisions for themselves. You know, I, I just believe that no unelected Washington bureaucrat should have the power to decide whether a family in Mineola, Texas can obtain a mortgage or a factory worker in Jacksonville can get a car loan or if a farmer in Athens, Texas can get credit in order to buy feed. The law says the Financial Services Committee can hear only from the director about a report the Bureau issues twice a year called the semi-annual report. The law also says that the director must be confirmed by the United States Senate. Because of concerns over this agency's lack of accountability, the Senate has not yet confirmed a director. Now, President Obama tried to evade Senate confirmation and appoint a director, Richard Cordray, and several other officials during a time when the president claimed the Senate was not in session. The only problem with that is that a federal court ruled the president was wrong because the Senate was in session that day. So many legal experts agree, including a former attorney general of the United States, that there is no way that Mr. Cordray can be the constitutionally appointed director of the CFPB. Now, this does not mean that Mr. Cordray personally is persona non grata, but he is persona non director. And because there is no legally or constitutionally appointed director of the agency, our committee cannot receive testimony on the semi-annual report if we're going to follow the law. And as long as I am chairman, we are going to follow the law. As soon as a director is legally appointed, our committee stands ready to accept this testimony.